Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my early morning routine along with my five tips and tricks that make mornings easier and go smoother and faster. So I do wanna say a big thank you to Laura Mercier for sponsoring this video. But as some of you know, I still have a regular job outside of the home. I work in HR in case you were wondering and I wake up super early to get to the office. So we're gonna jump right into my very first tip which is crucial to starting your day off right and that is to get up when your alarm goes off. I know I mentioned this in a very recent video, but it really is the best way to ensure that you're not feeling too tired or groggy throughout the day. If you hit the snooze button, your body falls back into that REM sleep cycle, and we don't want that. So just get up when the alarm first goes off and maybe having a sweatshirt, warm socks, or a robe nearby always helps too so that you're not cold and tired. And as you can tell, it is still pretty dark outside because I do get up very early. Usually my alarm goes off by 5 a.m. But as soon as I get out of bed, I wash my face and head right upstairs to do my makeup. And that leads me to tip number two. So when you're waking up pretty early in the morning and you need to get out the door, it's best just to stick to an easy and natural makeup look. So I recommend focusing on foundation, bronzer, eyebrows and mascara. Foundation gives you a nice base, bronzer makes you look alive, and then your eyes just pull everything together. So that's why I did want to talk about Laura Mercier's new, it is brand new, Caviar Volume Panoramic Mascara. I'm definitely pretty picky when it comes to mascaras, but I really, really do like this one. It actually has like a unique high quality, they call it a lash hugging helix brush that is very delicate on your lashes, but it's designed with gentle hollow fibers that, that actually help with volume without the clumping, smudging, or flaking. And this innovative helix shape, you can see it when it's rotating, it reaches each lash, weaving in between the lashes to evenly coat, volumize, and it creates a full 360 degree panoramic effect. And the gloss encapsulated Noir de Noir, um, I'm pretty sure that means like black on black or blackest of blacks. Basically, it's just a very intense glossy black color. But these pigments are actually glossy polymers that coat these intense black particles to ensure the even release of color and shine with a vibrant, pure color payoff. And you can really tell. So, so that's how you get the panoramic fanned out lashes for a very wide eyed wow effect. It looks so good. Um, but if you do want to try out this new mascara, you can shop at Sephora or LauraMercier.com. But once you're finished with your quick and natural makeup look, it's time to move on to tip number three. So a lot of people think the hardest part about early mornings is the waking up part, but I think the hardest part actually starts the night before or even a few days before. So my next tip is to do as many things as you can the night before. So for me, that is taking a shower. It's actually curling my hair. In the morning, my hair might need a little bit of a touch up, but for the most part, it's totally ready to go. And then there's picking up my clothes ahead of time. So the last thing you want to do early in the morning is start to match things, figure out if it's going to be warm or cool that day. Do you want to wear a skirt? Do you want to wear pants? It's that's just that. Ah, that's not what you want to do really early in the morning. So another reason it's so good to do it the night before is the simple fact that you're, you're just more daring and you're more stylish if you plan things when you're feeling more awake. So I don't know about you, but if I'm feeling really tired, I'm probably going to default to the comfiest thing I can find, which may not always look the best, but if you, if you already have everything laid out, it's ready to go, then it makes it super easy to look good every single day. Number four is kind of along the same lines, but when you leave early in the morning, you do have to think about what you're going to eat that day. Now, I do want to talk about several options that make my life easier. So first and foremost, this is probably going to go totally against what everyone else here on YouTube ever recommends, but sometimes it's just worth it to buy your food. I know that gets expensive. Depending on what you buy, it might not be as healthy, but if you just have a lot going on in your life, you just have to save time somewhere. So there are days I definitely just buy my lunch at work. So don't feel bad. Now, if you do want to save time and money, then I suggest batching your lunches and snacks for the day. That makes it super easy just to grab everything and go in the morning. So I suggest laying everything out on the counter, maybe on Sunday, that's, that's like a perfect day. And then you just divide and conquer. And you can even buy those healthy frozen meals. And again, I know that's not something everyone recommends, but they really do have healthy options out there now. They're getting so much better about it. So buy some every once in a while. The goal here though is to just make your life easier. 
Alrighty, so we're almost ready to walk out the door. And as you can tell, I try my hardest to do the least amount of things as possible in the morning. So tip number five is probably one of my favorites, and that's actually to have what I call a drop-off and pickup zone somewhere in your house. So this is a spot where you keep everything you need right before you walk out the door. And likewise, it's where you put everything right when you walk in the door. So I have my work bag there, I have my work ID, I have a few coat options, I have my car keys. Not only does this save me time from running around the house grabbing everything, but nothing ever gets lost. I just know where everything is. So the only thing I really add to my work bag at this point is some food if I'm taking some, and then my cell phone and I am ready to go. So that is my early morning routine. I would say it's in a nutshell, but it really wasn't in a nutshell. The whole thing is very quick and to the point. So maximizing the little sleep I do in fact get, that is crucial. So I really hope you enjoyed my tips and tricks, and thank you again to Laura Mercier for sponsoring today's video. Comment down below if you guys have any special early morning tips. I would love to see them. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.